going come on i don't know what that was <laughs> what was that good morning beautiful people wow yes i'm all up in your forehead um whew. moving a little slow but we moving we moving it's six gonna head to the gym Woke up around like five. I woke up at five. I went to use the bathroom and then I laid back down and I was on my phone. I just. Okay. Anyways, I'm about to wear the same thing I wore yesterday because you wanna know why? This was set to go to the gym yesterday. The gym didn't happen yesterday. So they're gonna see this shirt and these tights and they're gonna see me in this because we're gonna get a little sweaty. Okay, uh, today we're doing legs because Monday I did arms, Tuesday I was cardio heavy, Wednesday was Labor Day, and I was just kind of really determined to have a very, um, I want to have a five day week at the gym, okay, a successful five day week. So we're on day three, three, trois, tres, dry. Um, of the gym from just four. It's day 44 of 90. Wait a minute. We are at the halfway point. We are at the halfway point. My brain, y'all, I'm sure y'all just saw it. My brain, uh, just turning because I was trying to figure out like what we are at the halfway point and I feel like I feel like I should turn it up a notch what do you think what do you think should I and what that entails I feel like is actually adapting to I mean, I would love to adapt to like, cause I know many people have done different challenges or like 5 a.m. routines and like all this other stuff. And I know I'm making excuses. I already, I can, I already know they're happening right now. But the way my job is set up, we gonna have to do something. We gonna, we gonna, we gonna do something. We gonna turn it up a notch. I'll be back when I figure that part out. In the meantime, we're gonna go to the gym first. Oh. Got a little spring action up in here. Oh, that was amazing. A little chilly. But amazing. Ooh, okay, wait, wait, wait a minute now. A little too chilly. That's all y'all kicking. <laughs> Ooh, wait. Bring me getting back my warmth.
after that um work was good just in the uh, yeah it was good it was good productive ready for tomorrow the big boss comes back tomorrow so y'all know how everybody get everything i was quickly clean <laughs> i mean things are already clean but you know it's just like when you know your boss's ways Make sure that it stays gets in the right place. Hopefully he never watches this, but we all love him, so. Um, but yeah, today was a good day. Um, and I like slowly realized how, and I mean, it, to be honest, it's all God. Like he, I am who I am obviously because of him. And people trust me with their feelings. People trust me with, you know, with information that many times I do not ask for um, and I don't take that lightly some days I really don't want to know uh, just because I really believe that you're responsible for the information that you receive and obviously what you do with that is up to you but if you tell me something now I'm held responsible for this information that you told me and a lot of times I don't want to be responsible I don't please don't tell me I don't want to know I don't, okay? But people just love to talk to me. And um, I had to, <laughs> a situation happened with one of our girls uh, and um, one of the other guys in another department came down running saying, you know, hey, I need your help with something. You know, one of your girls is upstairs crying and can you get help? 
And so I'm in the middle of like writing next week's menus and stuff. And I'm like, yeah, of course, for sure. And this is after like a full day. I'm like exhausted. But, and it's, um, and then I had to stop what I was doing, go upstairs, you know, uh, mediate the situation, calm her down. Cause she had to finish working. There was like tickets coming in. Like you, I need you to take a deep breath. My go-to, to be honest, whenever someone is in stress, so whenever someone is having an attack or like something is happening, my immediate response is get them a glass of water because um, I feel like the cold water cools you down. And I'll also wet, uh, make a cold, ice cold wet towel and have them pat their face. Um, and then the next thing is to go outside to get some fresh air. So that's like my kind of like three step um, calm down method. And I do it for myself too. If I'm like whenever I feel like it, I'm too, like it's too much, something's too much for me. Um, and so um, I had to do that. I, you know, stayed upstairs for, uh, with her for a minute. And then I told her, I was like, hey, go, just just go take a smoke break. Um, I'll stay up and if any tickets come, I'll just do them. Um, and I don't ever want to take that gift uh, lightly. And obviously God puts us in situations um, Many of us don't ask for him, but he knows he we he need us there. You know, he needs us to stand in for him in many places. So that was my night. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's about it. I am going to retire for the night. Um, and I will try to put a video out. Uh, we'll see what happens. But yeah, I hope everyone had a great day. Um, have a good Good night, and I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next video. Choosy, bye-bye. Oh, before I go. So, with it being May, and it is Haitian Heritage Month, I decided to commence to speak in the middle of the day, because in social media, I don't even know if it's a word, but it's not a word. So, I'm going to try my hardest. Because <laughs> the thing is, I don't speak Creole like that to obviously anyone here. I only speak Creole to my parents, uh, to my cousin, to my sister, sometimes. Um, but yeah, and so I really need to practice it. I, I feel like, I don't speak Creole, I don't speak Creole, you know, more you. And obviously growing up, Creole was my first language. And for those who don't know, I am Haitian. <laughs> um, both my parents are from Haiti. I was, I am first generation, uh, born in the States, but both my parents migrated or immigrated, migrated from Haiti to um, Miami back in the 80s, back in the 80s. So um, that's that was my first language, and it's always funny because uh, people were just like, "Don't you know? Isn't English your first language?" I'm like, "No," nah. because I be, I pronounce English words correctly. So I'm I'm like I don't know English that much, but uh, my Creole I feel like is uh, I I'm at the basic level again. I really certain things I just don't know, and I know enough to have a conversation with whoever. But with it being Haitian Heritage Month, I want to speak more Creole on camera, um, and also. Uh, share, you know, growing up Haitian, how it was, some of our recipes, or, you know, how it was from my perspective. Like, how, it, how is it being a Haitian American from my perspective? Um, and I know with everything going on, there is still pride. You know, there are still things to be celebrated. It's such a beautiful country, and as sad as everything is going on, I still want to, from, again, my platform, to showcase the beauty from what I knew growing up, you know, what I know. And because all of our experiences are different and many of them are similar, you know, because I promise majority of, the, majority of the Haitian mothers went to the same school and read the same book on raising us kids because they so quick to ask you, Ki ki te voyo? who sent you, you know, and, um, I mean, like a lot of people too talk about like Bob Quinn George. So my mama didn't say that. I feel like my mom was like one of the bougie ones. And so there's a lot of like lingo and stuff that I learned probably in college. So, um, but yeah, that was the last thing I wanted to do, which uh, let you guys know that that's what I'm doing. And so um, 
depending on what the conversation is, I'm probably going to switch back and forth to, in and out to Creole. I will try to translate as much as I can. I can't promise you anything. But, y'all yeah, have a good night. I don't know what I was looking at. I was like, what is that? Y'all, that's just my jackets. <laughs> but I will see y'all. Okay, y'all have a good night. My, my eyes are probably like crossing. But, girl, it's tired. Good night. Again. Oh, what is it? Bonsoir? No. Because he grown up. I'm like, good night, mommy. That's all I said. Good night, daddy. Like, bonne nuit. Anyways, au revoir.